Get ready for CES. What is CES? Consumer Electronics Show. I am going down there. Lincoln's not coming and the family's not coming, unfortunately. But I'm taking a friend. I'm bringing Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. Jared from Ellie and Jared is gonna meet us there. There's going to be a lot of other YouTubers. Sam Sheffer, Marquez, Unbox Therapy. There's just a lot of them that are gonna be there. But more importantly, we are gonna see a lot of cool tech. And I haven't lined up to see five or six different electric vehicles. Like new ones that aren't even out on the market. It's gonna go on rides, show you guys. But first, Today's video is gonna be about driving down there. I thought if it's gonna be about electric vehicles, I wanna test out the autonomous driving in this car on a road trip and show it to Zach, somebody that loves tech and he loves his Toyota Tacoma, never really been on an extended trip in an electric car. So we wanna get his thoughts on electric vehicle and also what it's like to supercharge and do all that stuff. And he has a little trick that he wants to do with the autonomous driving. So we'll show you a little later, but check this out. Here's the car, we got the Model X. I'm putting my suitcase, my backpack, my tripod, a little charging cable down there in case I need it, all in the frunk. Isn't that cool? It's all right there. I don't even have to put it in the trunk. Look how much room I still have in the back. Look at that, I put the seats down. We've got all this room down here and all that room. So we can put Zach's gear in there, but let's hit the road, let's go get Zach, and uh, let's see what he thinks about driving a Tesla on a long road trip from Salt Lake City to Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's go. Plenty of room for your stuff because all my stuff is in the front trunk. The frunk? I think that's what you call it. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Does this Look at him using his hand. Yeah, push the button. There you go. We're gonna teach you everything electric car, but the deal is you're driving until the first supercharging station. Deal. I'm Does done. that work? Yeah. Pull my leg, but I'll do it. Have you I'll ever do done it. autopilot before? I have not. Okay, this will be an adventure. Quick update, how do you like your new truck? It's 20 years newer than the truck I used to have. This one. But here's the thing, <laughs> when I first went and sat in the new truck, I was like, all right, this will still get me from point A to point B. There wasn't a whole lot of difference, but now that I've been in it for like two weeks, going back to my old truck is like night and day. It is completely <laughs> different. I do like it a lot though. Awesome, it's so good looking. All right, goodbye truck. I love that you put the parking brake on. Yeah, gotta be safe. You don't wanna go on through the building. First things first, do you know how to drive this thing? It's right here, just okay. put, your, put it down and drive, pull it down. Okay, you're good. Just once and it goes all the way, it, it skips reverse to neutral all the way to all drive. Right, yeah, you're good. Are you comfortable with the seat? You can adjust it as you no, want. No, the seat's great. The navigation on this thing is awesome. And the navigation is super important because we need to figure out where we need to stop at the different supercharging stations between here and Las Vegas. There are one, two, three, four. There's four between here and Las Vegas and there's one in Las Vegas. So not sure how many we'll have to stop at. I've been driving around a lot today, so we only have 187 miles range right now. All right, navigate, type in, down here, type in just Las Vegas. Nevada. Las. There it is. Oh, Pops right up. Boom. All right, calculating route, finding superchargers for your trip. Takes a few minutes. There we go. All right, we are gonna have to stop for 15 minutes in Nephi, Utah. Maybe 50 minutes. We may not do it that much. And then if we do it for 50 minutes, we'll skip the St. George one and we'll make it to Vegas. So if we went nonstop from here to there, it's 400 miles. It would take seven hours and six minutes with charging time. It's gonna take longer than driving the truck, so if we race to Las Vegas, you would win the race. Like, long distance race, Toyota Tacoma would win. But this is convenient. I'm excited to show Zach the actual charging station. It's cool. Chill mode is one of my favorite things. I didn't think I'd like it. I like to drive fast, but chill mode changes your car completely the way that you accelerate, and it's the most smooth ride of your life. But you can't accelerate really, really fast, but it's fast enough. It's faster than most cars, but you don't go really, really fast, but we're not about that chill mode at this point let's just hit the road and go i'm assuming with chill mode because like you burn more battery like the harder you use it so if you're accelerating and stopping a lot you'd burn way more battery than if you just accelerated slowly right yep yep okay. so if we really wanted to conserve we'd go to chill mode but zach's never really driven a tesla much so we got to take advantage of this acceleration so next stop is going to be um supercharging station and we've got a special video that we need to film for zach's channel before the sun goes down hopefully and it's going to be cool i'll tell you about it in a minute all right it's autopilot time we're going on the freeway there's a little knob and not that one the one below it pull back on it twice so like pull it towards me yeah and then let go of everything in your feet. I mean, oh, let go of everything. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh man, this is weird. It's accelerating because I have it to go the max speed of 79 miles an hour. Okay. Like no more than nine over the speed limit, so I don't get a ticket. Nice. It'll just keep accelerating until it sees a car. And it has the adaptive cruise, kind of like your truck okay. does. So we're about to make a turn right now. Yeah. Here we go. No way, dude. Turn it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's way cool. It works pretty good. And how long? 
will it do this for? Just like, it, it, will it take us to the supercharging station? No, it won't do it for that long. It's gonna check in. See, that car is getting a little close over there. Yeah. Ooh, it saw it in the little thing, but still, you, you always wanna kinda pay attention and be holding it, just in case. Or like, not holding it, but like, your hands close. Yeah. Go ahead and signal to the left. Whoa. <laughs> What's that? What if, what if there was a car there? They would see it. And then it would stop? Hopefully. What if a car merges into us? It should see it. The cruise control should be good enough that it sees the other cars and it breaks. I've seen videos where it breaks and does all that stuff, but I've never actually tested it out in real life where there's it's gonna get in a crash. You might want to take it off here because you've got this guy in front. There you go. You oh, just... I didn't do anything. It slowed oh, by it did it by itself. Yeah. Okay, so look at this truck in front of us. It doesn't have a full-on truck like car body. I was a little worried that maybe it wouldn't read it and it'd keep going, but it saw it. Yeah. It stopped. Sometimes if you signal and you like stay signaled, it won't switch lanes again for you. But now it should. It's kind of creepy, right, when it does it's, that? It reacts, the thing that kind of like freaks me out a bit is that it reacts so fast. Like as soon as it notices that things are clear, it just moves over. If I was driving myself, I'd put the blinker on, check once, yeah. check twice, and then move over. You know, like I'm a way more cautious driver than this autopilot is, which is weird. That's a good point, because I'm guessing it thinks that you've already checked over there, maybe, and that's why you, you signal, but it does happen really quick. There's no time to just sit and wait. I don't know if they did an update for this, but it used to be really sketchy where you would do it, and it would just be this abrupt lane change. And now they've made it so it's a little more gradual, so it doesn't freak you out as much. It's still scary when it's changing lanes, but <laughs> it's not as bad. All right, Zach has activated Santa mode. Randomly, of course, they've got to have this. We couldn't do it. Maybe we've already put up the video, but we couldn't do this over the holidays because our autopilot was broken. And I was so sad. But if we can get up close to some cars, I'll show you the other cars are actually reindeer running down the road and it stays on forever. All right, Zach is working on a special project right now. He's got a crazy idea. We're going to try it out before the sun goes down. It usually we would have another hour and a half, but it is cloudy and snowy out possibly. So we're going to try to do this right now. Check it out. Look how pretty it is out there, but oh, that's a mean cloud. We're gonna try something with the autopilot we've never really tried before on a uh, abandoned road in the middle of nowhere. Sounds like a good place to do it. <laughs> that person just honked at Zach in that little red car. Beep, beep. There's behind the scenes of vlogging in the real world. Zach making a video. <laughs> that was great. All right, Zach just flew his drone. It's getting a lot darker out here. Did you get the shots you need? Yes, I did. It was crazy. That was one of the coolest things, and it was something I did not expect to happen with the Tesla. And so hopefully Zach didn't break it. We'll find out soon. We're gonna go to the supercharging station and charge this thing and see what happened. But we got some great shots. We're out in the middle of farmland, USA out here. Look at that. The snow is coming down. I'm gonna zoom in on that. That's beautiful. We're definitely not getting to Vegas super fast, but I'm excited for you guys to see it. We'll link it up here. You can go check out Zach's video if you haven't already, it's pretty fun. That was the waiting game. All right, we made it to Subway. This guy said, Dan? <laughs> What's your name? Hi. Do you watch our videos? Yeah. What's one of your favorites? When you cut open that basketball, the- The Wilson yeah. X with the BYU guy, Elijah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's recent. Awesome, so we filmed Zach's video, and good news, the car is working again. The autopilot, it's working, so that was good. And I don't know what this move is, <laughs> but apparently that means that's good, because I just did it. You kind of fit right in, like, Color. Funny story, I actually used to work at Subway. I worked here for like six months in high school. Hey. So I could probably make a pretty good sandwich still, even though it's been like- Get behind years. the counter, come on. This is the Rio Hotel. This is where we're staying. This is what time it is, 11.25, which is 12.25 back in Utah where we're coming from. The problem is the destination chargers here do not work with our Tesla for some reason. And we only have 16 miles remaining. So that's not good. Um, <laughs> Zach and I are going to, we just finished up his video like officially, we closed it all off. So go check that out. But for now, we're gonna go to the supercharging station if we can make it there and charge up for a little bit because you don't wanna leave a car with 16 miles like overnight it could lose that 16 and then it's completely dead and that wouldn't be fun so anyway the adventure of the road trip continues we made it with eight miles were you a little nervous oh uh, um, no was, no yeah, you're good you're fun. good yeah eight miles think about that in a gas car when it gets to 50 you're freaking out we're at eight all right just a 
charging station. Oh, that's a short cord. Battery power very low. I know that car. That's why we're here. You don't need to tell me that. Good night. Oh, it's blurry. Good night. Here she is, right at the very end of the building. Are you ready for the Rio Suites? Didn't work. Yeah. Are you ready for the Rio Suites tour? Where's the lights? Oh, baby. We have full vanity. Look at those high class light bulbs. Check out the Venetian tile in here. Top of the line wallpaper. This shower is not to be beat and even has a window into the bedroom. The nicest green carpet you've ever seen. This side of the Portland airport. Look at that beautiful bed. And there's the shower. This is from the other side. Oh yeah. And the view. You can't even see it outside, and neither can I. It's the next day, it was super late, we were tired, but I wanted to close this video off by getting Zach's thoughts on what he thought about autopilot. So Zach, autopilot in a Tesla, autopilot 2.0, and driving an electric vehicle on a road trip, stopping at supercharging stations, initial thoughts. The first time getting in a Tesla is just like a new experience all by itself, but the first time letting the Tesla drive for you is also very, very different. Imagine being in a lane and the car is doing all the work for you, but like imagine the lane, if it's about to split, into two the car doesn't know what it's doing for a second it's like it shakes a little bit and it freaks you out so you want to grab the steering wheel but your hands are supposed to be close by anyway but overall it was a really really cool experience so is this a gimmick or is this the future electric cars oh 100 percent the future like even just the acceleration is what got me the first time because there are no gear changes you're going from zero to 60 in one gear where like in my truck i'd have to shift four or five times for that so it's just like the pure simplicity less moving parts like this is the direction technology is going so so come on, can somebody please make an electric pickup truck so this guy can get an electric car? That's the only thing that we need to make this happen, I'm right? ready, or a motorcycle, either one. I'd be <laughs> a happy. motorcycle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's what somebody for the first time using autopilot and going on a long range road trip is like. See ya.